There is currently no club in Italy or Europe that can defeat Napoli. Every coffee in the bars of the city smells beautiful, each dessert tastes better because it captures the positive energy of the fans and the city as a whole. Their hunt for the Scudetto and the dream of winning the league seems to have now turned into a realistic proposition. Luciano Spalletti's team are finally in a position to aim for the Serie A title which they only got close to during the era of Maurizio Sarri. The Naples last secured the Serie A title in the 89-90th season. This was only their second title, and trophies have been scarce since then. Many supporters wondered if Maradona's era was a cruel anomaly as Juventus and the two teams in Milan continued their winning trend. The late 1990s were notably tough as Napoli suffered relegation in 1998, things worsened when they declared bankruptcy in 2004 and were forced to play in the third division. The door seemed to be closing on this proud franchise. But eventually, Something amazing happened as famous movie producer Aurelio De Laurentiis bought the club. The promise was simple, financial stability and a sense of redemption. At first fans were apprehensive as he was from a totally different industry and surely did not understand the intricacies of a blue-collar, resilient fan base. In the end, ownership began the process of getting the club out of Serie C and the support never disappeared. Not only did supporters continue to stand behind their team during these tough times, their love for Napoli strengthened. In fact, attendance was bigger in those days than for some clubs in Serie A, helping fuel the club's resurgence. The departures of Kalidou Kalibali, Lorenzo Insigne, Dries Mertens, David Ospina, and Fabian Ruiz in the summer have been immediately overcome thanks to a team that is as precise as a Swiss watch. Despite the high turnover of players, the same aggression, cynicism and ability to run for 90 minutes of Napoli remains. Securing top-flight soccer was one goal, but the bigger, nearly unattainable task was realizing their dream of winning the league once more, the proverbial treasure. They've come close over the past 10 years, as Napoli has placed second four times, but alas, the ghosts of Maradona, relegation, and financial uncertainty continue to weigh on Napoli players who wore the jersey. The Napoli of today, managed by the charismatic, eccentric and well-respected Luciano Spalletti, currently top of the table and they are not just leading Serie A, they are dominating it. At the time of writing the script for this video Napoli are 18 points clear at the top of Serie A with 68 points while merely 3 points separate second-placed Inter and fifth-placed Roma. There is no hyperbole here, Napoli are the real deal. It will be interesting to see how the rest of the season goes for the Italian giants. With the league title well on its way to the Armadou Maradona, the Napolitanos might just think this is the year they lift the most prestigious trophy in all of club football, the UEFA Champions League. Thank you for joining us for today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news. We'll see you next time for more exciting content on the beautiful game. Cheers!